We've never, ever, ever observed another sort of planet moon relationship like we have with our moon. And mm. the fact of the matter is life wouldn't exist on this planet without the moon there, uh, without the moon creating intertidal zones. There's right. there's all sorts of anomalies about the moon itself. It's, you know, it's 25% the size of the Earth, but about, I think, 4 or 5% its mass. So it's vastly lighter and yet stronger at the same time too. There's a really strange yes, dynamic. Yes, stronger? It's stronger, yeah. So it's like it should be deforming at, at, a, at a different rate based on its density and the gravitational pull that's exerted on it by the planet. In fact, there's all these gravitational anomalies on the moon. We've detected like gra- different levels of gravity um, in different places on the moon. But what is what is interesting about the moon is that because there's no atmosphere, we can see the craters that are on it, right? And some of the craters are massive, like they're like 400 kilometers across. Right. But they only ever go to a certain depth. They only ever go like I think it's a couple of kilometers deep. Like that. It's like we know the the, the mechanics of like crater um, dynamics, right? Yeah. So we can see this on on the Earth and on other other planets when stuff hits and it's bigger, it's going to go deeper on the Moon. Everything stops at this one uniform depth, no matter how big the crater is.